Hello and welcome to today's show. This will not be a new super jig, it's a rather small invention, but I think it's worth presenting. So what I'm showing today are these clamping coils that has feet on the underside, and those feet are movable lengthwise. I invented these a few years ago, primarily for panel glue-ups, but they turned out to be really handy in all kinds of glue-ups in the shop. So I will start by showing the basic function of these and how I use them in different kinds of glue-ups and then I will give some hints and tips if you want to build your own. The function of this elevated clamping course is to raise the workpiece above the workbench so I can reach with clamps underneath. I have a total of four of these and they are exactly the same height and that's important to keep your workpiece level when you do the glue-up. So the basic dimensions, the height is high enough for my parallel clamps to slide underneath without colliding with my workpiece. This distance here, underneath the clamping course, that's high enough for me to reach with my parallel clamps. And then I had a small invention with this movable feet on the underside. So the purpose of this is that they can be moved to position where they don't interfere with my clamp positions later on. The top of this course is covered with tape and that is so any glue shouldn't stick to the clamping coil itself. The feet are covered with low friction tape and that is so I can easily slide around this on my workbench without causing any scratches. Just some basic background info why I invented these elevated clamping coils with a movable feet. Before this my typical setup for panel glue up looked like this. So I had these pieces running in this direction to elevate my clamping coils. And then I put on the work pieces that should be glued together and then on top of that I have another set of clamping coils to keep everything flat and nice in the glue up. This is a typical setup for panel glue up. And then when everything is in place I wanted to have clamps both here from the other side and from this side here and these always collided with my pieces going in this direction. And then when you notice that things are colliding you start to move these pieces that goes in the wrong direction to keep them out of the way for the clamps and then everything moves and it's a total chaos. Not that bad really, it could be solved with some planning but it would be much better if you could get rid of these pieces going in this direction and that is why I invented these clamping coils with the integrated feet. So we simulate the same glue up but this time I use this elevated clamping coils instead and as you can see I have plenty of room underneath my work pieces to slide in the clamps and then for a quite narrow glue up like this I move my feet to the most outer position to be out of the way and then I have full access to my work pieces in this direction as well. For a much wider glue up like this I move the feet to an inner position and that is so I should have full access to my clamping coils reaching from the outside. I can also move the feet to a position where I can place clamps directly over my joints. These clamps here I can reach from the short side, so that is usually no problem. The one in the middle I have to reach from the outside and then it helps a lot that I can move the feet inwards to not be in the way for this clamp. And as you see here, since I have this low friction tape on the bottom of the feet, I can move this to pretty much anywhere where I want to have it on my assembly table for full access to all the clamps. Just a quick view how this glue up would look if I was doing it real. So I have clamping coils at three positions. For this short length I would only use two but I wanted to have the middle one to show you these clamp positions. So clamping coils at three positions held with these six clamps that are upside down. And then I'm clamping the wood pieces together using the clamps here. So I have a side clamp and then I have one from above, one from below, above, below and then another side clamp on this side here. That was some typical panel glue ups and how I use these feet and the elevated clamping coils in those situations. I will continue with showing some other glue ups and then I will round this off with showing how I built these elevated clamping coils. There is no such thing as a typical glue up when it comes to woodworking. But for a glue up like this I start by moving the feet so they are out of the way and doesn't interfere with my clamp positions. Then I clamp my base material down to these clamping elevators so things doesn't move around. Then I add a glue and everything and then this space here. That's big enough to reach with my big parallel clamps. So then I clamp around the clamping elevator and this acts as a big clamping coil for the glue up. In a bigger assembly glue up like this I use these elevated clamping coils pretty much the same way. They give a nice base surface for my 
project to land on and I have this elevated surface that gives me access to reach with the parallel clamps underneath. I will now give you some hints and tips if you want to build this on your own and I will start with the dimensions of my clamping calls. This could of course be customized to suit your needs. Both the one with the feet and the one without they have the same length about 700 millimeters and looking at the clamp and the center of the force you will see that you have some distance out here. So 700 millimeters gives me about 800 millimeter glue up capacity with 700 millimeter length. Looking at the other dimensions, you can see that the width of these pieces that differ slightly. There is no special reason behind that. I just think I had these planks available and they suited my needs. This is around 75 millimeters wide and this is around 95. Uh, they are both around 50 millimeters thick in this direction. Don't make that too small because then the feet will be unstable. There are some important dimensions here. One is the 155 in total for the one with the feet and that is to be able to slide the clamps in under the clamping call in this direction. The other important dimension is the feet height itself. If you make that 50 or more you will be able to reach with the clamp head under the clamping call and still have some margin. If we take a closer look on how this movable feet works, it works pretty much like a normal screw. I loosen them, move them to a new position and then I lock them in that position. The feet has these threaded inserts and in those inserts I have M8 bolts. The clamping calls has these routed in T-tracks directly in the wood and they match the bolt head width plus a little margin. So when I slide in the foot here it slides easily back and forth and then when I rotate it clockwise the bolt head locks against the T-track walls. You could of course also use a real metal T-track and recess that in the wood and use this to lock the feet in position. I think that's unnecessary for this application. There is like zero load on this. You don't have to clamp it very hard. You just have to tighten it enough so it doesn't move. I should maybe mention that of course you don't need a feet to be round. I made them round because then they lock symmetric and even with the sides and it looked nice in every position. But you could of course use square feet instead. It will look a bit funny in some positions but it doesn't affect the function. There is a small trick here to get that sliding motion working properly. One is if you push straight from above then it moves smoothly. The other is that you try to lean it backward in the moving direction then it also moves freely. If you try to lean it forward in the moving direction it will self-lock. But you will get a feel for this quite quickly. So this was one of those small inventions that you don't know that you need until you have it. And as I mentioned, I invented this primarily for panel glue-ups to have these movable feet. But after that, I used this elevated clamping course in just about any glue-up I make in the shop. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much.